Hey guys, I've finished yet another fun project this week, and I'm calling this one Fast MD5. It's not really fast yet because it's not optimized, but it's an assembly uh, rolled rolled out version of MD5. So I have all the macros here, and then I just go through and I make the massive list of every single round of MD5 in all four stages. Um, it's pretty simple. It only works on one chunk of 512 bits of data, so you you can't do massive strings. But the main goal of this is to do like some brute forcing or something along those lines. So I thought this would be a lot of fun. I'm also going to do something like this for uh, Nvidia cards because I want to use this alongside with um, my graphics cards to hopefully do eight or nine character passwords in within a few hours. So, um, all I really have so far just calls, uh, uh, up at the top here, we have a defined threads, which defines how many threads you want to run, and then hashes. Um, down below, hashes are divided by threads, so they're evenly spread out by the, for each thread. Um, really, it's just a static string right now, so I don't need any sort of, uh, communication between the threads to say which thread calculates, uh, which... Uh, hashes and whatnot. I, I mean, that would, that would add quite a bit of overhead of just having to calculate the next string you want to hash, but but that's not that's not too big of a deal. That maybe add uh, two to five percent of a performance decrease on this. But so it's it's really nothing too fancy right now. It's just a bunch of macros here. Um, but I do just want to show it in progress, or or show it actually working. Um, as well as the the spike on my CPU usage. Um, I'll put a link below to the source and code. Eventually I'm going to optimize it to uh, completely use all of the 64-bit instructions. Right now it is 64 bits, mostly for the um, extra registers that I use, so now everything is either a register or in uh, immediates, except for the string itself. That's the only thing in RAM. So I'm trying to cut down on processing by putting everything in RAM or in uh, registers or immediate values. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to maybe get some cache space on my CPU. I don't know if I can do that at user level here, but if I could, then I could cache the string and everything uh, in the processor cache, and that, that should speed it up quite a bit because I do have to hit the string quite often. But anyways, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to run this uh, through uTime. That's my little timing program I've made up. I'll put the sources and link to that below as well. Um, and this is my multi-threaded build here. I'm just going to run this. And you can see instantly my CPU uh, spikes out at 100%. I love to see that happening. It's actually a pretty good stress test here because it, it doesn't dip down at all. It, it just constantly stays at 100%. Uh, whereas like Linpack or something can can drop down and they they aren't always perfectly constant. Well, it's all done. It took about 20 seconds. It it normally takes about 18 seconds when I'm not recording, but when I'm recording, there is actually a pretty big performance hit. But uh, let's just open up a calculator and calculate the hashes per second here. So we did uh, one billion there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and that took 20.054047. Oh, um, so I'm getting roughly uh, about 50 million hashes per second. Um, I was getting above that before, but once again, when I'm actually on a call, I get uh, I, I average about 18 to or when I'm <laughs> not a call when I'm recording, I get about 16 to 20 percent usage, mostly because of my hard drive usage, and I'm running TrueCrypt. Um, so say I wanted to do a six-digit alphanumeric case-sensitive uh, password, so that'd be 62 to the sixth power, and divide that by my 4986-5246 number, and that would take uh, 1,139 seconds, or a little bit under 19 minutes. So it take about 19 minutes to generate every MD5, uh, given there's a little bit of overhead, so maybe like 20 minutes to generate every single MD5 for six characters, alphanumeric, case-sensitive. So I, I think that's pretty neat. Um, 
If I wanted to multiply that by 62 again, it would take, uh, uh, oops. It would take about 19 hours to do 7 digits, or 20 hours to do 7 digits. And that's that full CPU usage. I don't know if I want to have full CPU usage for that long. But say we had something that was just, uh, only, uh, lowercase letters or only uppercase letters. And I think, I think we could almost do 8 digits. Let's, let's check that out. So, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's save some time. That would take, so, um, whoops. Not, not ours. Um, I would take about 70 minutes to go through and do an eight digit pass, or an eight character password of all one case, or about 20 minutes to do, um, a six digit alphanumeric case sensitive password. So, that's, that's gonna, that's gonna go through most common passwords, so I thought this was pretty neat. I'm probably gonna do a, uh, implementation of uh, SHA-1, SHA-256, and SHA-512 as well. Um, I actually have never implemented those before, whereas MD5 I have, so I don't know how much of a performance hit I'll have on those uh, newer algorithms, but I would I would still like to see, as I actually use SHA-512 in a lot of my databases, and um, I'm sure most people don't have passwords much larger than 6 to 8 characters, so it doesn't really matter how strong the hash is if you can just get through every single combination of those. But I just wanted to show this quick video. Hope you found it kind of interesting. Uh, go download the code below, kind of critique it. I'd like to know if you can think of anything. Um, hopefully I'll be able to use the 64-bit packed instructions if I can find a place for that. So then I could maybe even uh, drop this performance. I could decrease it, you know, 75% or so. So maybe I could get up to uh, six, 60 million hashes per second. Or, yeah, 60 million hashes per second, so that'd be a pretty big jump and a good goal for me, so... Um, I'm also gonna work on something that will work on NVIDIA cards. I have two GTX 460s, and I'm sure I could get some, uh, good numbers on those as well. Um, so, I hope you like it. More to come. Hopefully I'll get those GPUs working, as well as a more optimized version of this. And once I have all that, um, I'll see what I can actually crack.